of coming to speak to the issues that is facing Mount Kenya counties, they have come to say how they are being fought and rebellion caused in their people. This issue is absolutely more important than can be imagined from a constitutional perspective. Because for the first time in our country, Kenya's largest community does not have a political party that can be able to speak on its behalf. The last time during the colonial time, during the mid-1980s, during the era of President Daniel Arap Moy, when the Kikuyu community was disenfranchised economically and politically, you had serious constitutional crises that occurred. And therefore, as our first point, the issue of purely somebody imagining that you can take Jubilee Party as the last voice that can credibly be able to speak for the people of Mount Kenya is going to have very serious repercussions in view of the fact that the discontent, and I believe you come from the area, that is boiling in central Kenya and there is nobody to give voice to that discontent will ultimately be dangerous to this country and it is a reason that earlier on you may have an attempt that when discontent boils young people will start to be called mungiki and you'll have another round of extrajudicial executions that have occurred previously in this country that's point one so it's a damn serious issue whether we have anybody speaking for us.